Hi, today I want to show you how to run Flux Context locally. Flux Context is an AI model which allows you to edit photos, change a photo style, just like the Google AI Studio. I've done another video showing that. What you need is the Comfy UI. If you haven't already installed it, you can get it from Pinocchio. This is what I have done. Pinocchio is just like an app store for AI application. And if I go to here, you can see there are plenty of AI applications. And I just need to type in Comfy UI and this is the app. I have already installed it. So if I go to the home page here, you can see Comfy UI is here. I just need to click on it. Uh, when you run it, before you click on start, you better click on update to get the latest Comfy UI. I have already updated, so just run it now. Okay, now it's up. Now what you need to do is go to the Flux Context dev page and go down here. You will see the goose here. And just save this image to your local drive. I have done that already. So this is my file, I've already downloaded. Now I need to open the Comfy UI and just drag and drop the PNG file to my Comfy UI and it will load the workflow. Just ignore all this because we don't have that, so we need to fix this later. Just cancel it. Now we got the workflow here. Now if I zoom in here, I need to Download the model and VAE text encoder. This is the model is quite large because I'm using uh, NVIDIA RTX 4070 with 8GB VRAM. So I need to find my smaller model. So let's go to the Hugging Face page. My one is 8GB and I've downloaded this Q5 underscore zero, so 8.28. And for VAE, you just click on the link here and it will lead you to this page and click on download and save this file according to the location given down here. And same as a clip uh, underscore I and I downloaded this pf8 and all these files have to go to the directory accordingly let me show you on my local drive here is my comfy ui directory and go to the app model here and diffusion model this is where i saved the model here and then go to the VAE. Uh, I changed the name here, Flux One Context. So just uh, for later on, I will know this. And the other one is for the text encoder here. I also renamed it to Flux One Context. So these are all the files I put on those locations. After saving the file to the location, now you need to press R to refresh it. But we still can't see our models here because our model is GGUF model. And now what I need to do is go to the Comfy UI, double click on the empty space and search for GGUF. We need a loader. Okay, now we need to replace this one here and now select our model this is a flux one and here select the flux one clip underscore i and now this one i have to select my own one as well this is the one t5 xxl or whatever and now i've got all set up what I want to do now, I'm going to try to do similar thing as I've done on the Google AI Studio. I replace my friend here on the right hand side with a girl. 
Now I'm going to put this image here. And I've got a prompt prepared to replace the man on the right with the Korean singer Rose. And I just realized I forgot to set my VAE here. I have to select the flux context, the one I downloaded and renamed. Now try it again. Okay, it's done. Now you can see it's not like the one I created with Google AI Studio, but it's not too bad. If I go to here, I can see uh, it's about four minutes and this is free. I can generate as many times as I want. One other thing, uh, Flux Context is doing really well. It's uh, coloring old photos. And I want to show you using my old photos here. And because I want to get a different size of the image as output, I have to change this here. Now I have to select it and press Ctrl B to unbypass this one. And I want to do it 1024 to 768 and now I need to take the latent to put in this latent image here and change the prompt so let's run it and hope something good comes out so it's done have a look not bad at all and the other thing I want to show you is I can change the style of the image. I'm going to use the output of this image. Let me go to the output and put it as input here. And I want to change it to the Doraemon comic style. Let's run and see how it goes. Okay, it's done. Have a look here. It's really nice. I like it. It can do the style really well. I also want to show you, it's not necessary like a, a image editor. You can create a new image using the two reference images. So let me try a new prompt here. I want them taking a selfie at the beach. Okay, it's done. As you can see, it has generated a new image. It's not uh, based on the rest of the uh, scene. So somehow the girl is a little bit too small. And this was quite quick. It's only about three minutes. Not too bad. It has problem to understand the prompt sometimes. Maybe I can try a larger model. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Well, there are more videos to watch Or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video